Hey there, it's Josh Hardy with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. I am going to do a uh, review of these HD telescope binoculars. These are actually pretty surprising to me because the other ones that I reviewed were from Vortex. And the form factor on these is almost identical to my Vortex ones, all the way down to uh, you know, all of the, uh, the lens covers and things like that. So it's very similar, similar in weight. It, the one that I have is also the same distance, so the distance is the same. What's not quite the same as the one that costs, you know, five to ten times more is the crispness of the image. You're going to have a higher quality glass. Now, for this price point, and if you're the, uh, you know, starter bird watcher or you just like to have something where you can get out there and see the distance, I like to hunt. These would be more than sufficient. I'll, I'll give these to my son and uh, he'll love these, you know, so they, uh, they work very well. You've got rubber covers on the front, rubber covers on the back. Uh, this one comes off of the strap so you can easily put them back on so that they hang correctly around your neck. Uh, the strap came in as well, you had to put that on. There is an adjustment, uh, I think it's a diopter is how they, how they describe it here on the bottom, uh, that allows you to dial in your right eye. So. Um, like for me, I wear glasses for reading and for far, but I'm not wearing them now. I can dial that in and get a crisp image without my glasses. And then the eyepieces have uh, one, two, one, two, three adjustment spaces. So if you're wearing glasses, you're going to want them right up against it. Or when you're using your phone uh, to attach, you're going to want it right up against the uh, the lowest setting. But other than that, it's just going to depend on where, how your eyes are set back and what's most comfortable for you. So I like them dialed out all the way. It gives me a little more uh, room around the eyes, but I don't, I don't have to have them that far out. So anyway, those work pretty good. Um, and uh, then you can adjust the uh, distance between your pupils so that you get one image. And then your focus is this ring on the top. So uh, overall works pretty good. Uh, one of the greatest things about uh, doing reviews on Amazon is uh, getting free stuff. And uh, this was actually sent to me to test it out, but it is, you know, in our sweet spot. I've done other reviews on binoculars that cost five to ten times more than this particular one. But I wanted to talk real briefly about what all comes in the packaging. So uh, let's talk about that first and then we'll put them to use here. We have the user manual. Uh, we have some more uh, details on how to adju make adjustments. Uh, it comes with a little survival tool here that has a whistle, a compass, uh, a, a thermometer, a flashlight, and then these two little uh, sides here, the orange sides come out. One is a magnifying glass and one is a uh, signaling mirror. So um, not necessarily something that I need. It has a nice lanyard on it, uh, but I'll give it to my son and I'm sure he'll have fun with that. Uh, it comes with an attachment where you can hook up your smartphone uh, and take uh, pictures or video with that. I've got those and we'll show you kind of how that works here uh, in a minute, but uh, it adjusts very easily back and forth. Slides to accommodate a uh, variety of sizes of phones. I have the iPhone 12 and it fit in there fine. And then the eyepiece that you align to your, uh, your camera lens. There's also a carrying bag, uh, which uh, inside of it is a microfiber cloth for cleaning the lenses. And uh, this particular one is the 10 by 42. All right, so let's step outside and see how these work. First, right now I'm looking at, you're looking at a picture of my neighbor's backyard. You can see a birdhouse there, which you might not be able to make out in the very far distance is a squirrel that's back there rummaging around in the leaves. Now we'll hook up the uh, uh, attachment here so that we can look through the camera and if you watch closely, we'll see birds going in and out as they're building their nest in the house. And let's go a little bit closer here. We'll dial in on the uh, squirrel. And you can see the squirrel back there now. Now, if we step back to the picture, you couldn't see the squirrel almost at all. Now I'm going to look the opposite direction, two doors down to another neighbor's house. There's uh, some green foliage on the ground. These are May apples and you can just barely make them out in this photograph. But now let's put the binoculars on and you can look at them here. One thing I've noticed with this setup is you have to be really stable uh, and it's just the nature of my 
shake in my hands or whatever else, but the image is shaking as well. Um, but I think this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm looking forward to using it with some deer. So now that we're back inside, I'll just conclude that I think these are, for the price, a very uh, good value. Uh, they seem to be durable. I haven't dropped them and don't plan to try to drop them. And um, I do think for the price point, uh, these are um, very nice. And they come with a lot of nice things. We're going to keep using them and uh, uh, have my son try them out, see what he thinks. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.